Is everyone ready? I see that some people are nodding yes, so I take that as a yes. All right, everyone, welcome to the book fight for fifth grade. This is going to be our first class, and to ensure everything works out well, like just please mute your microphones when someone else is talking or something. And yeah, let's get started. A student last week asked me this question. What exactly is the book fight? Well, it's obviously not people fighting with books, kids fighting with books, or books fighting each other. Before I tell you what it is, I will talk about a few basic rules of the book fight. These are just some, just a few rules for the book fight. The first one is don't talk when the teacher is talking. Everyone already knows this already, but I'm still saying this again since all teachers and all summer camp teachers do this. And because it's just a tradition while people say their slideshows and things like that. Rule number two, always finish your homework so you can be a better reader. There's no other way to be a better reader than to actually read. And your homework is, is related to reading. So if you finish your homework, you can obviously be a better reader. Number three is have fun. You know that we're in summer vacation, right? So I'm not gonna take this book fight very seriously. I mean, not like so serious that everything is graded and then if you miss a question, you get a punishment or something. Everything is just relaxed and fun and it's filled with competition, but not that serious competition. Number four, follow your team leader at all times. Like my mom said in the beginning, there will be two team leaders, William and Daniel. You will be assigned to the red team or the blue team. And whichever team you're assigned to, you should always follow your team leader. Except for the team leaders, which follow the group leader, which is me. And finally, number five is have more fun. If you don't know me yet, I really like to be relaxed in the summer. So, so I really, so I don't really, so I really love to have a really fun field competition and not anything that serious. Now that I talked about the rules, I, we will have two teams. I will talk about the teams. Based on your reading levels and their reading times per day that you have submitted, I have come up with the red team and the blue team. For the red team, your, the leader will be William Liu, and the people in it will be Kathy, Sherry, Sarah, Bridget, Corey, Alina, and Meng Xia. And for standing in their way is the blue team with the leader, Daniel, and Emma, Vincent, Ella, Marco, Helen, Helena, and Renee. Those will be the two teams that we'll have. Remember to, remem remember to just remember this because if you forget, then you don't want to be getting points for the wrong team. The two teams will compete against each other, and the winner is the team that has the most points. This is the basic reward system. Since I mentioned that we were going to compete against points, it's hard to keep track of everything. So this is why I created the reward system. All the rewards you earn will be on your name tag. Here is how it would look. First, you need to get medals from competitions, which I will explain in the next slide. Five medals equals one trophy. If you earn five medals, you basically get one trophy. If you get true two trophies, you earn that changes into one crown. So one crown equals 10 medals. Each medal equals one point. In the end, I will tally up all the points and the team that has the most wins. Here's the basic schedule of each meet. Since I have mentioned that we were going to be having competitions, 
Here's the layout of how the competitions are going to go. First, we will have the Q&A competition, which consists of 10 questions. Whoever raises their hand first gets to answer a question. The questions come from the book that you read for the past week. Since we didn't assign a book for the, in, the past first, in the past meeting, there won't be any competition today. If you get a question correct, you basically just get, you basically get two medals. The next competition we're gonna do every week is the spelling bee contest. The words will also be from, what? Um, I don't know. The words will also be from the book. And every single, and every single time. Um, I'm going to do something right now. Since there's this random thing. Então, eu vou estar mostrando os pequenos okay. 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 If you get a word correct, then you get one medal. But you might be thinking, if, 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 most, if everyone gets most of the questions and the words spelled correctly, then why don't we have like the same exact points? Well, you're in luck because there's this extra credit thing. And it's, it's the creative projects. You, get, you, can get, you can do any projects that's related to the book fight. For example, if you really love art, you could draw a picture of the setting of the book. Or if you really love music, you could create a song about the book. Or if you love writing, you could write another chapter in the book. The, the possibilities are endless. The only requirement is that it has to be related to the book. Students who did a project will show it to the class. Parents will do the judging, and the students can vote the project from a one to from one to five. In the end, I will decide how much, how many medals the student gets, and the student can get up to five medals, which equals one trophy if you have been paying attention before. And then, that also counts for the total number of team points. Now that I had explained the teams, the rules, the schedule, and the reward system, it's time to assign the homework for this week. We are going to be reading the big 1-0, and we're going to finish it in just one week. Trust me, the book is not that big, even of the title, and the author is Dean Pitchford. The second thing that you're going to do is to collect at least three questions plus answers from while reading the book. These might be used in the Q&A contest. The third, the third homework is to find at least five challenging words with their definition for a spelling bee. To send the questions, answers, and the words, you can email me at antfarm1234567789 at gmail.com by Tuesday so I can review them. You don't need to memorize this email address right now since I am going to put it in the WeChat group once we finish this class. Remember, the more questions and words you send to me, the more likely your words and questions are going to be in the competitions. On a side note, if you have already read this book already, if you have already read this book, you get a greater advantage because you can read the book faster and then spend more time on the extra credit projects or spend more time creating better questions and finding more challenging words. So, do we have it's any seven, questions 15. right now? All right, no one has any questions. Wait. Nope, no one has any questions, so that means you've all been paying attention because you don't have any questions to ask. So that's my slideshow, and now we're moving on to the next step. Let's get to know each other. 